Alzheimer's peels away a person layer by layer. The short-term memory slips in the early stages. Recognizing relatives and friends fades later. Those little traits that make up our personalities vanish along the way. The progression is irreversible for now. Most people with Alzheimer's have the late onset type, symptoms appearing in their mid-60s usually. Early onset, which is rare, occurs between a person's 30s and mid-60s. Alzheimer's is the most common cause of dementia among older adults. An estimated 5 million Americans have it. This is what Alzheimer's does. A human brain has tens of billions of neurons, little cells that transmit information through electrical and chemical signals. Neurons send messages between different parts of the brain and from the brain to muscles and organs. Basically, Alzheimer's disease disrupts the communication between neurons, resulting in loss of function and cell death. That disruption is thought to be due to a buildup of two proteins, amyloid and tau. Now for the origins. How does this whole process start to begin with in the first place? It's been puzzled over for a long time. Inflammation could be key, destroying the physical connections in the brain. It triggers the buildup of toxic proteins. A study published in the journal Neuron links Alzheimer's to long-term inflammation caused by two herpes species that infect most people as infants and then just lie dormant for years. The study authors emphasize they did not determine that the viruses cause Alzheimer's, but the findings suggest that viruses could fuel an immune response that might increase the accumulation of amyloid as it tries to capture that virus and contain it, resulting in the plaques that are built up and are a sign of Alzheimer's. And researchers say herpes might not be the only infection that leads to destructive immune response in the brain. The encouraging news is that the findings could lead to new therapeutic strategies down the road, according to one researcher. That could mean developing vaccines or drugs to prevent infections most linked to Alzheimer's disease. Does this mean a cure is imminent? No, but it does mean that researchers could be nearing a clue of how to prevent it.